Hello, my name is Brian Casey. I'm editor-in-chief of AntMini.com, and we're here at the RSNA 2016 meeting in Chicago. We have with us right now Dr. Mark Michalski. He is director of the Center for Clinical Data Sciences at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. Uh, Dr. Michalski has been studying the issue of artificial intelligence in radiology. Many radiologists are concerned that uh, someday uh, artificial, the adoption of artificial intelligence means their job could be uh, performed by a machine. And so it's been a real hot topic here this week at RSNA. Uh, Dr. Michalski, you've been looking at this uh, issue pretty extensively, and you have uh, kind of a, a bit more optimistic outlook. I do, I do. I think this technology has great potential for radiology, um, both in terms of making uh, us better at our jobs and more efficient. So, um, you know, when I was going through training, people would tell me about how radiologists were uh, the doctor's doctor. And a lot of the time that people spent in the reading room was explaining to other physicians uh, about studies. Um, when I went through my training, that wasn't my experience. A lot of what I did was, um, was read the studies and read the scans, and that's a very important part of what we do. But I think artificial intelligence will allow us to um, make the interpretation piece only a part of what we do. It allows us to quantify the images, which allows our product, our reports, to be you know, more effective, actually more useful, I think, to our, our end users. Um, and what effect that will have, I think, for a radiologist in general, is uh, it will allow us to get away from the, the workstation and back to the place where we were, which was um, being a doctor's doctor, allowing us to talk with other uh, referring clinicians and allow us to really engage them in a meaningful way. We, in a very real way, we'll be the purveyors of, of data science, uh, bringing meaning from data and uh, communicating that meaning to, uh, to fellow clinicians. So how do you see, in this more optimistic outlook, how do you see artificial intelligence being used on a day-to-day on a -day basis by a radiologist? Sure. Well, uh, one thing that a lot of people think of when they think of machine learning or artificial intelligence is uh, the way that it will be used to help uh, radiologists in, uh, interpret images or uh, to, to quantify images, segment tumors, for example, uh, or identify pulmonary nodules. Um, and that's part of it. That's a big part of it. Um, but in reality, machine learning has the potential to impact lots of, par uh, lots of parts of medicine and radiology, um, from billing to reporting um, to clinical decision support. So, and even, uh, e even actually generating the images themselves. Uh, machine learning is really touching each one of these places. So you don't think that artificial intelligence is gonna result in uh, you know, machines reading uh, X-rays, or, or, or even, I mean, do you, do you see a, a future where software could be interpreting some of the simpler uh, radiology exams, things like uh, chest X-rays, things like that? I think for the foreseeable future, there's going to be a human really in the loop at each one of these pieces, and certainly uh, communicating that data is going to be uh, something that radiologists do for a long time. Listen, you know, technology is agnostic. It's neither good nor bad. It's what we do with it that really matters. It gives us power, but it doesn't really tell us to do what to do with that power. Um, so technology really can enable us to be better clinicians, better radiologists, allow us to do uh, uh, great things for our patients, but uh, we really have to control it. Okay. Do you have any advice for radiologists who maybe are not that familiar with artificial intelligence and maybe they're kind of looking at it like, well, what is this? How am I supposed to interact with this thing? What can people do for this future that's coming? Sure. Well, first of all, don't be scared. I think that this is a lot of good stuff that's happening. This technology is going to make us better at our, at our job. Um, so that's number one. But number two is engage it. Um, the technology, again, is a tool. Um, but it's up to us to, how to decide how to use that, to decide how to use that tool. Yeah. Uh, do, do you think the radiologists, how much control do you think they have over that process, though? I mean, it seems like a, a, in, in the last few years in radiology, people have felt like they don't have control over some of the trends in healthcare that are happening. I mean, do, do they really do have control over how AI is being used? Well, I think that we need to gain as much control as we can. Technology in general is a good servant, but a poor master. Uh, and so this is our time to really engage uh, vendors and uh, researchers 
in directing this technology and the way that it's used. So people do need to get involved? I think so, yeah. Okay. Anything that you've seen here at RSNA this week that, that you found to be really interesting in the realm of AI? Oh, so much. I, I've talked with more than a handful of startups. I've talked with uh, several of the major vendor actors and I've seen a lot of great presentations. So I can't really highlight any particular one because uh, there's just so much sure, going yeah, on. Yeah. But um, it's an exciting topic. It's happening now. And we really do have to get involved as radiologists. Okay, great, yeah. great advice. Well, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. Signing off for AmpMini.com, my name is Brian Casey.